She Got Faith, founder of Healing She Got Faith, and I am here today for another Sunday of our videos. Um, I am just going to be honest with you guys, it has been a rough week. So as some of you may know, I currently live in New York right now. However, right now I'm in St. Louis with family. Um, since healing she got faith is all about grieving i'm just gonna be quite honest with you guys and just let you know one of my friends lost her second parent and i came right down to support her um we i've been rocking with her her husband and her brother since college so we've we're going on like six or seven years of knowing each other and she's just going through a really rough time and then while i was down here my nephew was in a car accident so it has just been really really rough However, I did not want to skip a Sunday with you guys because in June, I missed quite a few Sundays due to not having a computer. So, I'm going to just be honest with y'all. I don't have any notes for today. I kind of just wanted to come and talk about just dealing with grief and just dealing with it when it happens. Like, if you read the blogs today, it's actually talking about um, what do you do when a friend is grieving? And so it's just ironic that I'm going through this. And I, I wrote that blog like two weeks ago, maybe. So I didn't even know none of this was going to happen. But I want to just kind of just talk about like, one, if you are that person that is always there for people who are grieving, you definitely need to know like your limits and you need to be able to rest like me. I like this is kind of where I flourish so like being there for other people is kind of like where I get my peace of mind it's not always the healthiest but I'm I'm just being honest like this is a straight vulnerable video right now um so being there for my friends and just showing up because this is like what my organi my organization is based off of so being there and just showing them love and just kind of practicing what I preach is where I flourish at but also too, like Friday, my nephew was in a car accident. And so yesterday, Saturday, we slept. The whole household just kind of slept um, because we needed it. Like Friday was a long day. Like I'm in St. Louis. I was supposed to be in St. Louis on August 7th. I came two weeks earlier to kind of, um, I came two weeks earlier to be there for my friend and then this, my my nephew was in a car accident so right now it's just a lot going through my mind so i just kind of want to take some time today to talk about rest like our bodies need rest and even though we are those type of people that can be there for everybody else we still need rest and so yesterday i literally i didn't do no work i didn't do um i really didn't speak to anybody i i, I promise you i was in the bed i did do my workouts like i jumped on the trampoline i went for a walk my sister's kids are like my kids so i played with them but we slept like as a family we just rested we ate we drank our water and we slept we really really needed it and i wish y'all could have seen like we slept so much because our body just needed it. it was way too much going on i did check on my friend and was like hey do you need anything how you feeling but honestly like i just needed to take a day to rest and today i'm kind of gonna do the same thing i'm gonna you know do this video make sure the blog is good for you guys because i cannot leave my followers out because i just love you guys so much but i just really just want to put in our head like our bodies just need rest we really just need to honor our mind body and soul and when our bodies tell us that you need to rest we just need to rest i mean it's kind of just straight to the point today like i said it's just been a long week and i'm kind of just giving y'all an update of what's going on and just kind of telling you like what i'm doing throughout the process i do want to touch on like what do you do when a friend is grieving because that's what the blog is about today and honestly guys i just want to say this when people are grieving they're not asking for much they're asking for uh simplicity so just be there for them if you cannot be there for them then be there from the for them from a distance if you can cash at them if you could just send a text if you can call them if you could show up like 
my friend the first night that I was here I literally went to her house and we watched Netflix her brother came over they slept they cried we laughed they didn't need nothing much they just needed to be around people because they just lost a part of their life like you know they they lost their second parent and as somebody who has lost both parents it's hard you you feel broken you feel like you just can't handle it so i was just there and then um i've always wanted to do those little scooters those motorized scooters like i honestly i've always wanted to do it as a date but i've got a man so as a family we did it and i called my friend and her husband and my godson and i was like come on now let's do this and we had such a good time it was so refreshing they were laughing we had fun um we didn't take too long maybe we was out there for maybe an hour maybe less than that but it was so fun and so i think a lot of times when people are grieving we want to fix them but we can't fix them like we just have to be able to just be there for them and we have to be able just to know that what they need right now is love and support so my encouragement to anybody if you are dealing with a friend who is grieving just be there for them just be there love them support them invite them places but also know that they may not want to come and that's okay too but they really just need to know that somebody is there for them and also to honor your mind body and soul i know i probably sound like a broken record right now saying that but we really just need to start resting we really just need to start giving our body more water we really just need to start giving our body more sleep and rest and then you just like listen to your body you are the only thing connected to your body just listen to it so um i'm sorry it's short this week i try to keep it short anyway but i'm kind of scattered like i said i didn't take no notes today i just came here it's just been a crazy week and i just want to be honest with you guys and just be there i love you guys i really do and i just want to make sure i'm giving you guys the best um I'm, i want to send you guys love and positivity in a place of just rest so i just had to keep it real 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 100 today with you guys so i love you guys i miss you guys there will be a blog and video next week don't forget to check out healing she got faith if y'all need anything email me go on a website connect with me i do respond back in two to three days so you know i want to connect with y'all i miss y'all i love y'all stay safe out here y'all and remember to love you the way you love the world